So in terms of, you know, experimental sections, that's a really good point. Um, it's not something I've talked about on my channel before. Maybe I might have mentioned it briefly, but can you um, explain to my listeners what the experimental section is and what it would be used for? Yeah, sure. So the experimental section is basically a way for LSAC, the test makers, to test out future LSAT questions that will be scored questions on a future LSAT exam. So they're not counted against your LSAT score, but you do have to do them. And they don't tell you which one it is. They don't, there's not a big sign saying experimental on it. They want mm -hmm. you to give it your full effort and take it seriously, which is not maybe the nicest thing to do, but just right. <laughs> you're paying it forward just as someone else did the, these, your sections for you. Yeah. So it could be any one of the five. And it could be any of logic games, logical reasoning, or reading comprehension. So there's total randomness. You never know. You could have an experimental game section. Someone else has experimental reading comp. And the only way to tell which one was exper experimental would be afterwards talking with other test takers. People typically go on forums and talk about it online after the exam. And so you could see even that if you had two game sections or two reading comps or three logical reasonings, you would know that any one of those would have been your experimental because the scored exam will only have one games, one reading comp, and two logical reasonings. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.